distinctive, unique, spiritual. These are just a few of the words to describe the worldwide appeal of Impressionist Hoosier artist Nancy Noel. Her art adorns the homes of Oprah Winfrey, Robert Redford, and Jane Seymour, to name a few. Recently, Nancy invited us into her Zionsville home to catch up on her life and clear up some persistent rumors. It's always an adventure in this artist's home. Uh, here we are with Nancy Noel and your menagerie, which includes, this one is? Degas. And this one is? Matisse. <laughs> and these are just part of, of all the animals that you have. Part of the deal here. Okay. Some inside, some outside. You also have a llama inside mm -hmm. that greeted us when we came in. Yeah, she's uh, she's been in here since she was 10 days old. She's now a uh, year and a half. And she lives in the house? She lives in the house. She spends uh, the day uh, out in the pasture. And then she comes and she has a little bedroom <laughs> off my bedroom uh, where she has her bed. She sits uh, in a dog bed. Of course. <laughs> and uh, she has a little potty. She's completely housebroken. She's never had an accident in the house. Nancy is selling the sanctuary, that's true, but she never intended to leave Indiana or her farm home. 2014, you were leaving. You were going to New York, and you were packing up and leaving. What happened? No, well, the thing is, everybody thinks I was packing up and leaving. You and weren't I packing actually, up and leaving. No, I actually, I'm not sure how that rumor got started because I adore my farm. I adore my animals. I have all my friends and family are here, and there would be no reason for me just to pack up and go to New York. I looked at spaces for a gallery in New York, but felt that Aspen was more my style. I was more into canyons than concrete. So um, I felt like I could go out there and ski if I wanted, ride my horse out there if I wanted, take my dogs and so forth. Everybody in Aspen has a dog. So I thought, and the, the idea was to spend one year away uh, and get uh, international exposure, which is exactly what happened. Nancy is also a committed philanthropist. She recently hosted an event on her grounds for the Indiana School for the Blind. And her concern for children extends worldwide as she sponsors a preschool in Kenya, Africa, named after her. Nancy is also deeply affected by African images, and it shows in some of her art. So let's explore some of her other inspirations. There's the Amish. And it's clear she loves animals. You also love birds. You love uh, butterflies. I do. Um, what's the significance of, of those animals? In, the, in my paintings, the butterfly is always the visiting spirit. And the, the birds are, are the messenger or the sign of the divine source. So this painting right here is about meditation. And um, that painting appeared on the screen in Times Square a few years ago. When people buy your paintings, when they praise you, whether they're famous or they're just regular people, what do they tell you they see in your paintings? Why does it touch them? You know, I, I don't know the answer to that. I, I can only assume that they see some part of themselves in that. My paintings really talk to the, uh, the spiritual side of us, the, the, that, that human experience and, the, and our spirituality. I think a lot of people, um, I, I don't know, you know, sometimes I've asked myself, what, what is it, why? Some people just cry and cry and cry. And they say, I don't know why I'm crying, I'm just crying. The future, keep moving forward. Yes, your mommy has an amazing life, and she loves you very, very much. I do. I'm blessed beyond. I'm blessed beyond. Do you feel reason. that? I mean, yes. every day you get up, you go, boy, I'm, I'm lucky. Completely. I'm talented, but I'm also lucky. Completely. I work hard. Completely. Completely. Beyond. Beyond. Really. You've gotten to do everything you wanted to do in life, and you're not done. No, I'm not done. You still have the energy and the drive? Oh, yeah. Probably more than ever. We love your work. Love your your joy with the animals so continued success thank you and keep doing what you're doing because it's unique and fabulous thank you very much thank you appreciate it thank you for sharing a brush with greatness